Hello everybody, it's Todd Zilla again with Joe's Auto War Clan. Just had a video out. I'll try to post a link here on the video for the Town Hall 7 attacks that we had during this war. Now I just want to highlight a couple Town Hall 8 attacks for this war. We're going to look at, let's see, <clears throat> excuse me, wrong side. There, <laughs> we want to get their three stars, not the ones on us. So we're going to look at 18 three star by Fire Fist Ace from our clan, 19 three star by Fire Fist Ace, and then 20, uh, which was three star by Ryder. We'll take a peek first at number 18 here from Fire Fist. Quick pause it. I believe uh, the one that Ryder three starred was actually just this base, but flipped uh, 180 degrees. And you can see Fire Fist chose to run kind of a Gova Ho uh, with a P.E.K.K.A. and 13 uh, archers kind of for the CC pull. You can see 2 minute and 20 second attack there. I believe he tries to pull a clan castle and then uh, gets, gets a dragon to come out of there. <clears throat> yep. So he does a giant to focus all his stuff and uh, balloon there to take out the, uh, in an attempt to take out the cannons if possible, but also to be able to pull the CC, which was otherwise probably unpullable from any other unit. A uh, very smart way to pull a clan castle. And from there, he uses a couple of barbarians to get it way out to the edge, throws down a bunch of archers, throws down his golem, the Clan Castle, if it's a dragon, will follow that golem in, and then all those little DPS troops can get that uh, dragon down before it does too much damage to the uh, golem. And from there, CC Valks, a couple other Valks that he had built himself that were level 2, they get right into the core that he opened up uh, with that earthquake. And you can see pretty much the entire base is opened up. The top, the middle, and those two side, side ones are open. Once the defenses are kind of focused on those, a couple hogs in, get the defensive units down a little bit quicker, and then he sprinkles those in uh, on the sides to get those. And I believe he's, just because his attack was so efficient, Valkyries and everything kind of on the, the Barb King and the Golem and the Valkyries that were running up the gut there, that the hogs hardly take any damage here. So he didn't even need to use that second heal that he brought. Uh, very nice attack. Just going to fast forward from here because it's kind of clean up. But yeah, those Govaho attacks, they're getting pretty strong almost at every level. Um, especially when you got three of them sitting in your clan castle or max troop. They more, they have more hit points than the giant and way more. Definitely hit faster. So a very nice troop to have in there for tanking and damage purposes. Especially if you have a core like that where you can just run right in the... They tank up a lot of that DPS. They keep any things off of your hogs, any of the damage off your hogs, and allow them to kind of have free reign. And we'll take a peek at this base. I did run a similar one to this as a Town Hall 8. Not quite this design, but similar in nature with the square and uh, and trying to funnel the troops around the outside. That was before there was a, any DE spells so you couldn't earthquake to get in and this before there was any leaf blowers too is very good against uh dragon raids which was all the rage back then and, and now that they kind of got these de spells this, this one isn't necessarily so good anymore because you can just use a couple earthquake spells to get in the center and take out a lot of the raw dp that was in there at least it was on mine same general concept he pulls a clan castle throws down that golem all those archers and a few wizards can take out that uh, dragon before it does too much damage to the golem. It's already gone. Golem still got half health, taking up a lot of the damage from other units at the time, too. So here come the Valkyries, his barb king, with on the gut, and those clan castle Valkyries, which are max troop. I mean, those just go in. They completely obliterate things. A heal keeps those alive, gets... Gets those guys to stay alive while they're going through all those massive uh, hit point 
units there in the center. And Barb King, boom, he's deleted off the map. Less than a second to get rid of that between the Barb King and those uh, Valkyries. Very nice attack there. Hogs come in from the well, as Pekka went around the other side to kind of tank. Oops, that and a wizard take out pretty much everything on that side. And then on the right side, there go the kind of take out that corner uh, unit. Very nice attack. I don't even know if he uses these other four balloons. Didn't need them. Hasn't even used his Barb King ability. 19 seconds left to finish off the rest of those buildings in there. No problem. Very nice attack. Uh, like I said, the first one that he ran go to use his second, or his second heal spell. This doesn't even need the Barb King. Saves four of his balloons. Very powerful attack. And finally, Let's look at 20. This is the one that we saw earlier for uh, Fire Fist flipped uh, 180 degrees. And this is a go, go, go Hoey, or however you want to pronounce it. Uh, just a couple golems, a bunch of wizards, and a bunch of hogs. Uh, wizards kind of take on that CC. They got a nice poison spell down there on that dragon to reduce the uh, attack rate on it, which helps reduce the damage on the golems there. Funnel into the middle with his Barb King. So we do a Barb King, Barb King exchange virtually there. His Barb King still got lots of hit points left. Wall breakers there. Core Barb King ability to kind of get into the side. And then hogs in here from the other side to take out the of units that aren't taking focus on that Barb King and the Golem on the other side. So he had 15 hogs to start with, a couple heals there. You still got one left to take out the rest of these buildings, and here come the rest of his hogs. Completely decimates his base. Real threat of a double bomb other than the one that he just set off, but yeah, very nice attack. Strong, strong attack. He's got lots of hogs left to finish up. Off these and a few of those skeletons chasing them around, those will be dead in a matter of seconds once they kill those last few defensive buildings. So, a couple different attacks there. You saw Fire Fist choosing to go the Govaho route with Blums, Valkyries, and Hogs. And I think he had a peck on both those attacks, too. Ryder kind of went more the uh. Gohoi, where you have golem hogs and wizards to basically take out everything. Both of them very strong uh, now at Town Hall 8. So just wanted to highlight a couple Town Hall 8 attacks during this co-op war. Nice war. We'll go back out and see if they've actually said what the final score was in a, the prior video. But another three star there. Very nice work rider. 84-76. And I believe we came over from Joe Auto. It was myself, Jesse, Jesse 2.0, Bone Sparkakiss, White Geese, and Firefist Ace, and Cypher. Let's see here. Double Jesse there at number three that came over. Bone Crusher came over from Joe's Auto. Sparkakiss number nine from Joe's Auto. And then Jesse 2.0, myself, White Geese. Cypher, and finally, I highlighted the attacks for Fire Fist Ace. So the couple of us came over, tried to help them, you know, get their win streak back up that we knocked them out a few, a few wars ago for them. Since then, they got a four, four uh, war win streak. So keep that on. As I said, said in the might be something that we do every Friday, just a co-op war uh, with this clan. Definitely keep your eye uh, out for those. Jesse, I know, was planning on highlighting a few of the Town Hall 9 attacks. I might also uh, highlight a few of the Town Hall 9 attacks that he doesn't decide to do. Other than that, please like this video. Please let us know in the comments if you enjoy these and if you're learning anything from these videos. And hopefully you are. Uh, and you know, normal people can get three stars on these normal bases rather than watching some of those elite clubs and how they attack these elite bases with elite strategies and such. This is more echo. We 
see the bases. We use normal troop compositions, normal troop strategies. We get three stars. We're very successful. Something Good was one of the best wars ever had. Um, very close. I believe it was like a 0.7% difference. We beat them by one star. Very good clan. And that I do co-op with them. Uh, one of the best opponents that we've ever had, very evenly matched, and um, very, very close at the very end. So that was nice to see a, a good clan there. So uh, with that being said, we will put out more videos. Please subscribe to this channel, and you'll get the latest and greatest when it comes up. Thanks for watching, and have a good night.